Hi, Leo. Happy June. I hope you're doing well. Okay, we have a mixed bag here. For some of you, um, I think you are doing really well in your career. I think a door opens for you here. I think you either hold a really prestigious, you know, title or you you are involved in something that's um, providing a great lifestyle for you or you're about to. And I think that you may be weighing things out here, more family versus should I do this, right? Or it can be something too that may, um, it could be something that may put you in the line of fire here, meaning, you know, a police officer, military, firefighter, and you're thinking, um, because I think some of you are actually just having children, like someone is actually giving birth or just gave birth. And I think that somehow it affects maybe what you're willing to do opposed to what you were willing to do. I think you're weighing the odds there and I think you're conflicted. For some of you, I think you're getting slandered. And I think that if you stay your course, stay your course, I will tell you that. Don't back down whatever it is because I think there's a, a this can go one of two ways. If you stick this out, you'll, you'll be fine. If you don't, I think it puts you, it spirals you into some kind of depression here where you like, you withdraw. An example would be like, like you see someone who's a like an actor or an actress and and you're like wow I haven't seen them in a while they haven't been in any movies or haven't seen them their life took a different course like something occurred that caused that um missing an action what for whatever reason maybe someone left to have a child maybe someone left to do something else maybe whatever but but that's the scenario here but I think for you where this is coming in is I think someone is uh, trying to slander you and this could be something too where it comes between um, you know it, it affects your home life it affects your marriage in some regard right um, for some of you too um, let me go on this path first because this goes in two drastically different ways for some of you you're doing really well and you're trying to make wise decisions for your family you know what I mean uh, for some of you, I think you're looking for clarity on something, and I think that you find it. Um, I think there's a lot of, uh, it, it's just a time where I think your life is going through a lot of great changes, and you're trying to make the best choices uh, for everyone involved here. Um, and with that, I do feel that you gain um the success that you're looking for in whatever that is success doesn't just mean career it means you know maybe I found the perfect house maybe I found you know whatever it's just it's starting out to do something and it's finishing it that's what you know success is but this is a hard battle here so whatever it is you're coming up against something where it could be a he said she said kind of deal and you've got to to um you've got the let's go through the cards I'm so sorry your energy coming in is the queen of cups You've got the Ace of Swords, the Six of Coins, the Chariot card, which is a card of success. That's why I'm saying keep it going forward. Um, your advice card in here is the Lover card. Um, the card that does not go in your favor here is the Two of Swords. You've got the Empress card and you've got the Judgment card on the outbound. Okay, I think again, like I say, um, this can go one of two ways. You can possess something, like you can really push through something and gain it, or fear can paralyze you here. You can want something so bad that you make mistakes. So be diligent with that six of coins. You know, keep your focus where it needs to be. Keep your intention where it needs to be. Um, That's what I'm going to say on that. I think, again, with your advice card coming in here with the lover and what works against you is I think that you're unsure about what to do about something. Now, like I say, you've got the Empress card and the Queen of Cups in here. This could be to a parent who's over. It could be an overbearing parent, but it could be someone, too, who just gave birth and is just really elated with this, right? Um, that's a nice vision. 
Um, I think there's a need for privacy in here. I think someone might be, um, now if you just had a baby, maybe someone is trying to help and you're just kind of wanting privacy here. Um, it could be something like that too. Or someone is interfering in here. You know what I'm saying? Like something in your career arena is now affecting your home life. Okay. Um, okay. I think for some of you too, if you're in solid relationships, I think that that continues to go that way. Um, I think if you're not in solid relationships, I think that that may lead um, to a not so great place. And I'll tell you why with that. Um, okay. Now that's a really great part of this reading. That's a phenomenal part. I think that you are gaining recognition for something. I think your career is going well. I think you're about to bump up on something career wise. This could be someone too who's very, very credentialed in something, in something that you're doing. Um, for others of you, this is where we're going to turn the coin. For some of it, you in here, I want to say that um, mm, be very diligent about something. If you're really, if you're, if what you're weighing out here is between two people in whatever position your life is in, if you're weighing this out between two sexual partners, per se. Be diligent in what you're doing here only because, and I normally don't even get this, but there could be something that you contract in here that you can't get rid of. So be aware of that. Um, for others of you in here, um, again, I think that something comes down the pike where someone is trying to slander you for something. And it can be something, too, where there's there could be. And again, if this does, this is a general reading, it could be something where there was an extramarital affair um, and now this is coming to light and it's it's trying to blow through, you know, your relationship and it's slandering you on the work front. For some of you, that's the regard. For others of you, this is not in your sphere. Your life is in a really great spot. But I've got to put it out here because it goes in both directions here. Um that's what I see there. But you're going to, with the judgment card, you're going to need to pay. You're going to need to pay. Um, you're going to need to address this is what I'm saying, I guess. Um, give me a moment. Let me see here. And don't get all nervous now again like i said if your relationship is fine it's fine don't borrow trouble this is a general reading but for some of you that this would have already occurred in may so you're well aware of this um now i think with the ace of swords you're on a quest for something you're on a quest to figure something out or find something out and i think that you do um Okay. That's what I think it is, guys. I think someone, um, it really tests the limit in here of your relationship. Um, like I said, if all is well, all is well. Um, and, and you know what, too? If your relationship, if you're if your life is the one that's going through turmoil, but your relationship is solid, this leads you into a better place. So oddly, at the end of all this, your life ends up in a, in a better place. For those of you that your relationship is not that strong, um, it, it doesn't go in that direction. Um, but again, the chariot card is in here. It is a card of success. But to get that to go in the right direction, your moral compass needs to be in the right spot. So if by chance you happen to do something here that wasn't of, you know, your best moral integrity, you may have to deal with a little bit of the fallout of that. And, and I'm just the messenger. These, you know, don't thumbs down the video because 
it's a shitty reading. It's not a great thing. People do shitty things sometimes. It just is life, you know, but I've got to put it out here. I can't not. So it could be something, you know, it, it, I know it's something like this, but again, it's going to branch off in different directions. So if your life is in a good spot, like I say, it's in a great spot. You just had a baby, you have children, your life is secure, your careers are taking off. Life is really good. It's just someone, you know, may not be so happy for your success and they're now trying to slander you via, you know, something that may impact your relationship. But there's nothing to worry about because, like I said, that becomes, if your relationship is strong, it's going to make it through this. And on the other side, those are, that's a totally different story. You know what I mean? That doesn't have anything to do with whether your relationship is strong or not. These are two separate stories. Okay. So I just wanted to find that. Um, give me one moment. For others of you, I think if someone is in the military here or law enforcement or you just happen to notice that I just end up in these situations, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I always end up in these situations where these crazy people cross my path. I see that in here, too. That could be something, you know, it could just be something. Sometimes I see in charts, sometimes where I see that, you know, some people have these really uh, hard aspects. It doesn't mean the person is going to be like that. But it just means in their life, somehow they cross people's paths that are just, you know, not the nicest people. But, you know, these are people that are usually someone that will be in law enforcement or they'll be in politics or they'll be in something where they're an e easy target for something like that. So it could be something like that as well. Um Okay, again, your advice in here is the lover card. Choose wisely. Okay. Um, what opposes that is that two of swords, you know, and, and that could just be fear of making the wrong decision. You know, that could be something, too, in here where, say, your relationship isn't solid. Say this is a, a scenario C. Your relationship isn't solid. You're not quite sure what to do. You know what I mean? It could be something like that, too. You're undecided about something like that. But they're long-term choices, and that lover card is singular. It has to do with the choices you make, but it has to do with the choices you make, you know? And for some of you, I think you're trying to make a better life for your family. For others of you, you're making uh, great strides in your career arena. Uh, for others of you, I think you may have a scenario going on here that's um, going to need some clearing up is all. Um, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. Okay, thank you so much.